Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. On today's episode, we are going to be shooting the VXR28 up against the Hoyt RX4 Ultra. So we've got a 28 inch axle axle bow up against a 34 inch axle axle bow. Both are set up at 30 inch draw lengths and uh, 63 pound uh, draw weight. So if you wanna see which one I'd rather go with today, then go ahead and stay tuned. So first up is going to be this Hoyt RX4 Ultra. Go ahead and show you guys that balance. That thing is literally perfectly balanced. Wow, that feels really great in the hand actually. Should show you that. I just literally don't even have to try to balance that thing. It just stays. Um, so like I said, it is a 34 inch axle axle bow set up at 30 inch draw with 63 pound limbs right now. I'll show you guys the draw cycle of this bow. Very smooth draw. It's got kind of a slightly like just squishy back wall. And it does kind of drop in pretty hard for just being 60 pounds. Um, it is a pretty smooth draw though. So that string angle, actually let me show you guys that back wall. So let me kind of pull on, tugging on that. So that string angle at 30 inches is pretty, pretty nice actually. Okay. We, and we are shooting 400 and I think these ones are 480 grain arrows, like 483, 484. Um, just built these, these are some new FMJs that I'm trying out. Shoot that one more time and focus in on that uh, hand shock. All right, so there is a little bit of hand shock, a little bit of hand vibration. Um, and it is only at 63 pounds, so it's not terrible. Uh, I do remember shooting this thing at 70 and it was a little bit worse. Obviously, the higher the poundage, the more hand vibration you're gonna get. Um, but the uh, jump forward was not, not really there at all. Let's pull this back again. It does settle that pin very quickly though, which is really nice. And it does hold very steady. It feels totally balanced at full draw. It's honestly not too, too bad of a hand shock there. Um, honestly pretty impressed with this. I remember the first time I shot it, it was pretty bad, um, but turns out there was something loose inside the grip because this grip can actually move side to side uh, to be able to get rid of different um, paper tears, uh, get rid of any torquing that your hand might be causing depending on the type of grip that you use, type of grip that you hold it at, I guess. So that one I did feel a little bit of hand, or a little bit of jump forward. Uh, I am gonna shoot a little bit of a lighter arrow. This is a 437 grain arrow. So it's about 40 grains light, lighter than that FMJ. See how this feels, see if it's any more loud, see if it's got more vibration. Shoot another one of those. This one's going to be even a 16 grains lighter because it's only a two fletch. 
So this is gonna be like a 400 and 15, 415 grain arrow, 420, 420 about. Yeah, definitely feel like it has a little bit more jump forward with the lighter arrows, um, but we'll shoot those through the crown graph, kind of see the different speeds that it's throwing both of um, those arrows at 480 grain, 440 grain. So, um, but let's go ahead and shoot that VXR 28 up against this bow, see kind of how it's shooting. It is gonna be quite a different uh, string angle being like basically half the, the uh, axle axle. Let me pull it up right here for you. So here's that VXR and that Ultra right there. I mean, that's quite a big difference of the axle axle lengths. So it is gonna be a much steeper jaw, um, much steeper string angle on this 28 putt. Uh, let's shoot it and just kind of see how it feels compared to this RX4 Ultra. All right, so here is that VXR 28. Show you guys the balance here. Does not balance as well as that uh, RX4 Ultra. It is pretty balanced, but it is a little top heavy there. Not nearly as bad as what the uh, previous years that Matthew's come out with though. This bow is so fetching small. Let's draw this back. All right, so first things first, that string angle is much steeper. I'm sure you guys can see that difference. Back wall is more solid though. I'll show you guys those cams. Pulling back on that. And that draw cycle, with it being a shorter axle axle bow, that draw cycle is gonna be a little bit more um, aggressive of a feeling. It's kind of a tougher draw cycle, so let's, but it's not too bad. It does drop into that back wall a little softer. Let's shoot this first one. So, wow. Biggest thing I've said in so many of my videos with the uh, VXR series is there is zero hand vibration, literally nothing. Um, especially with this little bit of a heavier arrow, 480 grain. Not, not super heavy at all, but heavier than what I've been shooting in the past. There's no hand vibration. There's no jump forward. Let's shoot that one more time. The anchoring though, I will say is you kind of have to, you'd, you'd have to get used to it for sure. If you're going from an ultra to this, which is understandable, right? Um, I would say there's probably 98% less hand vibration in this VXR compared to that RX4 Ultra. So let's uh, pay attention to just kind of settling that pin and then the uh, stabilization of the bow with it being all kind of natural, no stabilizers. So it settles in really well and I feel like it balances, balances really well I would say too. I'm not f trying to fight it in any direction. Let me uh, turn my phone on silent, give me a sec. All right. So now let's shoot this little bit of a lighter arrow, the 437 grain arrow. Might have been a little bit, bit more uh, vibration on that. Let's shoot even a lighter on the 420. No, no, that was just kind of a fluke feeling. I feel like that thing is so dead in the hand. I mean, that thing, by far the most dead in the hand bow that I've shot this year. Um, and this is actually gonna be so far my top one, I would say. Um, but 
going back and forth with this RX4 Ultra, you're gonna notice a big difference with that string angle for the most part. But I don't think, I don't think you're gonna be gaining too much comfortability. Obviously, if you're tall and you're over a 30 inch draw, if you're over 29 inch draw, it is pretty steep on the VXR28. I am a 29, 29 and a half inch draw, um, more of a 29. And so I do feel comfortable at 29 inches with the uh, VXR28. And then obviously with this RX4 Ultra set at 29, it's like one of the widest string angles out there in a hunting bow um, setup. Um, up against like the the prime black five the 35 inch axle axle bow so let's uh go shoot these things through the chronograph kind of see the speeds then do a two arrow grouping real quick kind of see how they're holding and and focus more in on that uh settling of the pin and uh, then i'm going to let you guys know which one i would choose and basically buy and go home with today. So let's go head over to the chronograph and shoot both these through it. All right, first up through the chronograph is gonna be the VXR28, 30 inch draw, 63 pound limbs, and uh, 480 grain arrow, first shot. We're at 275 feet a second. And now we're gonna do a 437 grain arrow. Two ninety, so with those forty grain or yeah, forty grain differences between those two arrows, you are gaining a an additional fifteen feet a second. All right, next up is the RX4 Ultra, thirty inch draw length with a 63 pound limb setup, 480 grain arrow, first shot. 269 so six feet a second slower than what that VXR was throwing that one out and then right here with the four or yeah 437 grain arrow at 282 so eight feet a second slower um, with the 437 grain arrow so the VXR is shooting a little bit quicker than the uh, ultra um, so yeah, let's head back out over to the range and do a two arrow grouping. All right, time for the uh, two arrow grouping here. We're gonna begin with the VXR 28. First shot. I feel like that settles in super nice. Now let's go with a second shot out of this VXR. Good group there. First shot out of the Hoyt RX4 Ultra. I feel like there's a much bigger drop into that valley, but that string angle is very nice. Bit more hand shock. And again, there is no stabilizer or anything taking up any of that shock, so do keep that in mind. Both pretty good groups. Let's head down there, check out those groups, and then decide on which bow I'd rather go home with today. All right, so here is the first grouping here. We've got the VXR28. And then right here, we've got the RX4 Ultra. So both pretty similar groups there, both held really steady on the target. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of shooting both of them. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video with the VXR28 up against the Hoyt RX4 Ultra. Both are great shooting bows. Both feel really good in the hand. Um, today, the VXR28 is gonna take it. Yes, the Ultra has got a little bit better of a string angle, but the speed as well as the 
so dead in the hand feeling of the VXR, that's what's going to take it home for me. So if I was to buy a bow today, it's going to be this VXR 28. Um, I have nothing really bad to say about the uh, RX4 Ultra. Great shooting bow. So if you do have that and you do enjoy it, I got nothing against that. Great shooting bow. Get down to your nearest dealer. Go shoot these two bows up against each other. See what you think of the different string angles as well as uh, the deadness in the hand. So just want to say a huge thanks to Terry here at TNT Archery. Let me come on in, shoot the bows. And uh, big, thank you, big thank you to all of you guys uh, for supporting my channel and everything. And then don't forget, I do have a giveaway going on. I got two actually right now. If you buy a hat, get you entered in to win a Hoyt Helix fully set up and then if you buy a decal you can win any bow that you possibly want the decal one there is 250 entries that's maximum and then the hat there's actually only 100 entries right now I think I have 32 entries into that so I've got about 68 entries left with the hats so if you just go to hacksandhunt.com you can buy a hat for 30 or 25 bucks and uh, get entered in for a Hoyt Helix and then decals are 10 bucks all money proceeds from the decals go straight into buying whatever bow setup that you want so thank you guys once again we'll see you guys next time